Another thing that's really cool and that has changed is the always on display. As you see, you get this larger font on your clock, which is cool. And then you unlock it and then the font sort of goes to bold and it has really, really nice animations. And of course, your little keypad to get into your phone as updated as well. And this How's it going YouTube? Sick Eric back again with another video and today we're going to be going on over the Android 12 beta for the Google Pixel 4a 5G. Now I was able to download and install this last night and everything looks really really different as you can see. Really really cool and nice refreshing design. I love it when Android comes out with something new and it just you know it's an update from one version to the next. A lot of these uh updates from android 10 to 11 have been really really just the same thing and this is a huge drastic change and i'm i'm liking it a lot it was a pretty easy process to update it this is the t-mobile version just in case you're wondering if you can update this version or not and you can even though you know it has all the you know bloatware and it is a t-mobile brand you still are able to update it using uh the technique that i'm going to show you how to do right now so pretty much you're going to go to this website i'll post a link in the description down below it's going to ask you to log in right here and, uh functioning properly but it does work a lot of the stuff does work and it is pretty cool so we're going to go ahead and scroll on down to where it says your eligible devices and it's going to show the pixel 4a 5g you're going to want to pretty much opt in on that see if I can lower the brightness make it a little bit more viewable so you're gonna pretty much opt in you're gonna hit submit and then you're done and then once you're done with that you're gonna go into your settings turn up to I love this brightness just by the way and, I mean sorry this is a new version it'll be the same thing on your old version you're gonna go into system and then you're gonna go into system updates and then it's automatically gonna pop up the update for you it's gonna say Android 12 beta you're going to hit download and then it's going to go through the install process and then reboot and then you are all good to go. So this is really, really nice. I'm definitely liking this whole look of the new Android 12. It looks really, really cool and refreshing. Everything has this whole uh, rounded corners to the notifications and everything. Really, really cool. You could also manage your stuff. You want to manage notifications right there and then you could clear all. And if you want to adjust your tiles, you could do that as well. Drag and drop, add new tiles. Of course, you can see it does have the Android beta program on there. You could add more tiles. You could add a dark theme. You can add an uh, extra dim if you want to so just scroll it up there, pull it up there and then add it and then you are done. So then when you go into your settings, you swipe on over to get more. If you want an extra dim, you just tap extra dim. So say you're all the way on the lowest brightness, which you can't really see. You can make it a little bit more dimmer on there. So really, really cool. I like to keep it full brightness and everything looks really, really nice. So far, the dialer still looks the same as you could see right there. Everything still looks the same as far as, you know, messages goes and things like that. Uh, the main thing that has changed so far is the quick tiles you go into your settings everything has sort of like this little bounce to it when you swipe up and you stop really really cool effects on here you go into your um, display settings everything almost pretty much looks the same you have more of a grayish dark background flat materialistic background on there uh, you go into your uh, display settings you can click on colors you get boosted natural everything pretty much looks the same on here when you click on something you do get like this little static glittery effect when you click on things it's pretty cool um other than that as far as changes goes there are system changes as far as the way the ui looks on here uh everything is pretty much almost in the same place it just looks really really nice and clean the main thing that has changed on here uh you do get a lot more gestures that i noticed on the android 12 beta so say you want to back tap you can back tap the back of the phone to take a screenshot play or pause music 
see recent apps show a notification back tap not really working on here swipe for fingerprint uh for your notifications so you can swipe down on your fingerprint sensor for your notifications that works uh quickly open camera app so you can double tap on that to open up the camera app and there you go right there swipe on up and uh let's see you get a uh, flip camera for selfie on so what this does is when you're on your camera you flip your phone and it'll switch on over to selfie mode and then there you go it brings up the selfie mode flip it again and it goes back to your main camera so that's pretty cool uh system system navigations of course these are uh the same you got your uh, gesture settings back sensitivity right edge blah 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 and then you could also put your three button navigations on there uh, one-handed mode is off but use one-handed mode uh, when you swipe down use one-handed mode when exiting switching apps so that's pretty cool you could bring everything down on here when you're using that so if I'm say over here on the home screen uh, I can bring everything down when I swipe down and it brings everything to reachable uh, height right there so that's pretty cool you can reach all your quick setting tiles and everything and then you pop it back up and if you want to do your notifications you go on over here tap to check phone so you double tap and it'll check your phone and then reverting rings and things like that uh, swipe down there's one in here for a swipe for notifications that turns off when you turn on the one-handed mode so if you turn this on and you swipe down from the bottom where no matter where you're at you could bring up your notifications uh, uh quick panel right there so that's pretty cool but that does turn off when you activate the uh one-handed mode as you can see right there it did turn off so you get a lot of new uh updates as far as gestures go and everything else and this is the latest version it still says android 11 when you update so keep that in mind that uh it would still say android 11 and when you go into your uh about phone it's going to say android s which is the version of this and this is a beta version so as you can see everything looks really really nice and clean and simple as far as security goes you still get your screen lock your uh pixel imprint which is your your uh fingerprints on there smart lock everything you still get all of that stuff on there so that's really cool advance confirm sim deletion blah 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 you still get everything on there. notifications you do get bubbles which is really really cool it looks like everything shows up a little bit differently on here uh, when you're on your volume slider it is a lot thicker and a lot more bubbly so it looks really really cool and i really dig in the way this whole android 12 ui looks it looks very nice and not say uh kiddish but it just looks really nice and playful and just looks really good you click on over here you get uh vibrate on there uh, put your phone on vibrate ring or fully so that's pretty cool you could adjust your volume everything looks really nice i love the brightness slider it looks really really nice and thick and everything just looks really clean i'm definitely liking this hopefully more features come come about with this as far as the home screen goes there are still no widgets available not all of them are available it has some and but not all of them like if you click on your clock widget these aren't the normal android 12 widgets uh, that are available they are just normal widgets so hopefully they do include include the actual legit android 12 widgets the only one i was able to find is something like a, the messenger widget on there as far as you go into your system ui uh it does have conversations on there so not everything is finalized on this beta version and not everything works on this beta version as far as everything working i was able to make a phone call the camera works video recording works uh text messaging works bluetooth seems to be working as well so it is pretty stable to run but i would not advise you flash this on your primary device like this is not my primary device i got like four other different devices I, that's okay if things don't work i'm okay with it but if this is your primary device do not flash this beta version just in case anything goes wrong the flashing procedure is not that bad it won't wipe anything but just in case something's not working you won't be stuck 
on it and future updates are going to be rolling out to this so this is the first beta version of Android 12 for the Pixel for a 5G and I think that there's some coming out for the OnePlus 9 as well so that's pretty cool but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little walkthrough on how to install this and how everything looks on here everything just looks really really nice and clean on the Pixel 4 a 5G still there is no double tap to sleep on the home screen which is I'm still frustrated about that I want a double tap to lock your phone there is still no option for that on the home screen Hopefully they include that on there, but everything looks really, really nice and clean on the Android 12 beta. I'm definitely loving the direction Google is going with with this new update. It's nice, it's refreshing, it's something new. It just looks really, really cool, and I'm definitely liking this. So that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. That is quite all right. Subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.